Whoa, can everybody hear me now? This has been a little bit of a thing. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Can you hear me? Please say yes. Oh, okay. Okay, can I just act, act out? We're good? Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry. If it wasn't for Megan, we would not be... Oh, I don't even have my other chat up. So this is going to be interesting. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Shen. Well, hi, everybody. I'm sorry. Let's start from the beginning. Hi, Joanne. How are you, sweetheart? Um... And this is June from Open Witch Lane. Welcome all you lovely creative people. Okay, hi Shannon, how are you? How are you, sweetness? And then I know Barbara came in somewhere. Well, hi Barbara. Hi Barbara. And let's see, we got and Barbara, I'm glad you're here. Um, well good, everybody's here. Just been working today. I had to mow, but we got a new plane. Okay, I love it that you got yes. Oh, you want to pinch your cheeks. How lovely. Um, I can't even get, hold on. I'm going to see if I can get my other, my, uh, YouTube chat up. Hopefully I don't, uh, screw this whole thing up here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you still, I hope you can still hear me. All right. Uh, your new client. I love it. Uh, just, you just text me having trouble with makers work and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. I, I'm glad we got it fixed too, Shannon. Cause I thought we, I was going to just have to cancel it. If Megan couldn't have fixed it, we were going to have to cancel it. Um, Tony's here. Hi, Tony. But everything is getting easier. Yeah, it's going to be a while, Tony. You have to um, you have to give yourself a little bit of time. It's only been a couple of weeks, okay? But I'm glad that everything is getting easier, and I'm glad that you're here. Um, okay. All right, good. So we have, we're working. Whew, that was exciting. That was very exciting, to tell you the truth. I'm just going to take a moment. There's nothing like having having audiovisual problems. And honestly, I don't know what she did. I wouldn't know what to do. Um, thank goodness she's here. Okay. Uh, this tab is using your camera or microphone. Okay, that's fine. I'm glad. Let's not give me any weird tabs. Okay, get the current. All righty. Woof. All right. That's not... Here, let me just do that in case I want to say something. All righty, so we we're working. And how, oh, I'm sorry. Um, let's see, Joanne mentioned somewhere, I think, that uh, she was doing her garden. Wait, 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 wait. I'm tired, but in the best kind of way, I finally got the garden planted today. Congratulations, Joanne. Hey, Ashley. How are you? We've, we're finally getting going. We're finally getting going because for a while there, um, my camera was muted. Well, I was muted, and uh, just to finish on Joanne, so I don't keep squirreling all over the place. I am glad that is a major accomplishment to get your garden planted. Okay. Whew, that was exciting. All righty. So here's my little Scrooge mouse. And this is, I'm going to do regular shoes on him. I'm not going to give him a um, mouse feet, I don't think. And I really like how his face came out and his little hair and stuff. But I'm going to pull the hair off right now. Um, just because the one thing that I don't like about him is that I feel, and I can use that hair because I think that's the color that I want to use, that he's too dark. And I want him a little bit lighter because then I'm going to make his hair a little bit lighter. So I'm trying to, now this is one of those uh, wools. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> 
Um, this is one of those wools that has a very long fiber. And I don't really need that kind of long fiber for what I'm doing. And I also don't need that garbage in there, that messy stuff. Okay, so we're just going to make it, um, cut it, cut it down so the fiber isn't as long. Am I in screen? Okay. I got two lights going now. Hopefully the lighting situation is a little bit better than it has been. Love the side burns. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to re put them back on Shannon. Once I get this, this just to lighten up his face. For some reason, I'm feeling like I want his face a little bit more light. Can I read this without my glasses? Yes, I can. I just have to move over because I can't. It's hard for me to work with my glasses on. I don't like it. Okay, so let me get out my little finger things, which are right under here. which Because I'm going to be holding him and trying to do this. Let me see. Is that the right spot so you can see him? Okay. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. So I just, let's see. See, once you get these little clot, these things on, it's hard to maneuver your fingers. So um, did everyone have a nice Mother's Day? Or, you know, I know, Anthony, you're not a mom, but were you able to celebrate it with your mom? Or were you not feeling up to it yet? And everybody else, my day was interesting, but I got to spend it with my kids. So it was an okay day, a good day. There's lots of, just because you might not be the mother of a child, you might be a doggy, a pet's mom or something like that. Just want to lighten him up. This poor needle is crooked. This is a very fine needle. I'm not looking at chat. You're going to have to give me a sec. Um, this is a very fine needle, and it's lasted me a long time, so I hope it doesn't break tonight now that I said it lasted me a long time. I just want him lighter. I don't know why. It's just feeling like he's too dark to me. Lovely, Barbara. Oh, you took mom for Chinese. I got flowers from the puppies. Oh, how cute. The puppies gave you flowers. And Ashley took her mom for Chinese. I got Thai food. And you came. I don't. Um, I don't know if anybody saw my Facebook post, but I'm not really into um, mom's day. It's a lovely day. I'm not saying that it's a lovely day. It's just not something that. I'm used to celebrating because I think I mentioned, you know, when I first became a mom, it wasn't a priority for me. So it was never something that I like to celebrate. There's so many things to celebrate. Gosh, between my, my birthday and Christmas Yule, that's enough with all the, you know, for me anyway. Not for everybody else. I'm just talking for me. Now, Christine well, is going to get her internet service tomorrow. So it's a shame that she won't be here because there's lots of questions I have for Christine. Oh, she's here? Christine, you're here. I just said you weren't going to be here and you're here. How the heck did that happen? And, oh, wait. Yes, I did. Went to see mom and surprised her sibling. Oh, how wonderful, Anthony Antonio. Lovely. And she got pajamas. Who got pajamas? Did Barbara get pajamas or Shannon got pajamas? Oh, I'm glad they spoiled you, Barbara. You have every right to be spoiled. Look up. I am. Well, look up a what? Hi, Christine. I didn't know you were here. I'm so glad you're here. We all three. Oh, everybody got PJs. That's wonderful. Christine, I thought you weren't going to get your internet until tomorrow. I'm so glad you got your internet today. Please don't tell me to look. <laughs> Please don't tell me to look up. 
I've had a lot of problems already on this thing. If it wasn't for my daughter, we would not be having this live show. It was a little touchy goey there for a little bit. I think I like him better a little lighter. I think so. I'm going to continue making him a little bit lighter. I think I like him much better lighter. So let's see what we can accomplish here tonight. Good for you, Christine. Yeah, I'm glad. Better internet. No, I never did ask you because I didn't I didn't know. I mean, are you on your phone or do you have a laptop laptop? Did your mother start crying, Anthony? Sweet. How sweet that was to surprise your mom. What a nice, that's a nice gesture. Sure she was surprised. So, okay. Trying to talk about what I'm doing here. So if you start needle felting and if you wanted to, you know, and you sort of like the shape that you had and you didn't want to start all over again, but you didn't like the color, try taking very thin wisps of the color that you do like as you saw me i'm pulling out these wisps and then i'm cutting them down as much as possible and you can change the color without getting um without having to redo it now i'm going from a dark gray to a light gray i'm not sure i could change it uh to a brown but like that it might get heathered or something like that so that might be pretty too but see how it'll give um It'll give him a little bit more character too. I'm not going to be able to do it like a solid thing. I could try to, what I'm doing is I'm using my needle to pull out the fibers because I saw that it wasn't looking right there. It was like too much of a um, one color versus the other color. So you just use your needle to pull out the fiber and then you just poke it back in. You like them better? Yes, I do too, Joanne. She did. Aw, I'm glad. Oh, free government phone with unlimited everything. Wow. Wisps. I don't even know what that is. Christine, I don't know what W-I-S-T-H-P-S is. And I, I, I second the thing that Joanne said about all the good things coming into your life. It's time for good things, you know? Also, I think making him lighter gray uh, will also make him look older. I'm going to have to work on this probably a lot more. Um, just get the wispies away, but you can see what I'm trying to do here. Now, the other thing that I haven't figured out yet, and I have some of my black wool, is if I'm going to make his hat needle felted, or am I just going to make his hat um, like I used to make hats, which was, you know, you make it out of cardboard and then you cover it. I've also made hats using polymer clay. I'm making it okay. So getting back to the cardboard, so I don't squirrel. Um, make it out of cardboard, and then you either cover it, you paint it, or you cover it with uh, some fabric, which right now would be felt. But felt is is the felt that I have is very thick. They don't. I, I have to find some place that sells uh, thinner felt. I think I I think I do have some, but it's not black, so I'd have to either dye it. Or, or paint it maybe because painting might make it look a little bit less fuzzy um there's a lot of things that i can do there for his hat i just haven't figured out which one i want to do again if there's like a line and i don't like that there's a line there you can you could flip it out with your needle and then cut it down a little with your scissors so it doesn't make it look like there's a direct a line in the um <clears throat> from one color to another 
wisps. I don't know what wisps is. Still don't know, but that's okay. I don't have to know everything. So I'm glad the girl spoiled you, Barbara. I know I keep going back and forth from one conversation to another, but I'm not sure if I'm giving like every conversation it's due because I seem to go from finish one and move on to another real quick. Oh, where's my... You know, it's been a little different because I'm using my laptop to do this live. And it's a little different from my, um, the personal computer that I was using when I was downstairs. Now, we still have the personal computer, and I might have to set it up if this doesn't get any better. But I've never, like, all of a sudden, and this never, and I used this laptop when I went downstairs. Oh, I, <clears throat> when I, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers, there was a couple of uh, lives that I did for my table downstairs. And I used this laptop, and I didn't have any problems with it. But all of a sudden now, I'll look over, and it and it looks like, you know, when you uh, don't touch your screen for a long time, and it, it blacks out? Well, that's what this thing has been doing to me recently. And it's, you know, I've had a, I don't know what the heck is going on with this thing. Yes, white. They're going to be white, Ashley. A wisp. <laughs> wisps. I don't even know. Yeah, but how did we start with the wisps? That's the, I don't even know how we started with the wisp. Oh, the wisp of the hair? I don't even know what we're talking about. You know what? As usual, I don't know what we're talking about. And that's okay. Because you know what? I don't I don't have to know everything. I've made my mind up. I don't want to know. I don't have to know. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I didn't say hello. Well, I didn't say hello to all of you people. Well, we got that done. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I have to say hello to all the secret Santas who don't want to get into this conversation and say hello to everybody. I can totally understand how you feel because I don't even know what I am saying. So, hey, what the heck? What's... <laughs> I see, Christine, you're back and you're, driving, and you're already driving me crazy. I don't even know. Is, is that what you're talking about, his hair? Whisks. Hey, here we go. Oops. I don't even know if my sister's coming on. I don't even know if she answered me. Wait a second. You know what? Every day you walk back when you were pulling apart the wall. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Did I, thank you. And thank you, Barbara, for telling everyone. I'm just finally getting back to my phone. Whisks. Okay, my sister did not um, answer me. Okay, so I don't know if she's coming on or not. Hopefully she'll come on because she needs to give us the uh, good news for the week or the day. Okay. So are you all settled in your new in your new place, Christine? Or no? Okay. All right. He's a little fuzzy, but that's okay. I liked his mouth before, so I'll have to work on that. But that'll probably be a good thing to work on when, okay. Oh, and if I don't like something, cut it off. Cut it off. Doesn't matter. Then just, you know, refelt. Let's get a little bit thicker needle here. Okay. Whoa, I really felt that in there. The finer needles 
all good for, um, you know, little work, detailed work. Okay. Oops, he just was taking a leap. Okay. So I've been doing my walk every day. I've been trying to. I think I missed Saturday. Um, but I went for a walk on Mother's Day. And he and I walked around. And um, so I've been trying to get my, and I extended my walk today. So. I'm trying to do my walk every day because I, I want to start. I got to lose some weight so I can get off the blood pressure medicine because I don't like being on it. And when you're on um, Medicare, or at least with my uh, insurance, I can only get my prescriptions done at CVS, which, you know, uh, the the I have two... There are three pharmacies in this town that I know of. Two are near me, and the CVS. Not that it's not that it's far away from me. I mean, it's within five miles, but it's out of the way. I have two of them that I could walk to. They're right across the street, basically. And of course, they got. I got to go get my prescriptions at CVS, which is the one that's farthest away from me. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, wait. <laughs> um, I didn't get the pepper spray. No, Shannon and Ashley walked today, and I felt like he was dying. It made my legs feel, yeah, you have to sort of work up to it. I mean, I'm walking now, I think, for my 30 minutes. Um, but there was the when I first started, I was getting dizzy and lightheaded, and I would have to stop, you know, and like then I'd have to talk, and I'd be like, no, you can't pass out here because <laughs> there's nobody around, and it wouldn't exactly look good. Um, I need need to get all the crappy stuff, quilting and furniture I want from the house, and my dishes, pots and pans too. Well, Christine, you know what? You get them. You get anything you want that's yours from that house and even some stuff that's not yours. And Barbara got a phone call. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So Telly sent me an attachment on Facebook Messenger. And I don't know about anybody else, but I don't open attachments anymore because I got two recently that I knew or I pretty much suspected that they were uh scams so i don't um i didn't open the one from telly and i wrote to her on her facebook page you know telly did you did you send me something and if, you know she i don't know when the last time she was on facebook page but she didn't answer me so um i don't know what she sent me okay but um whatever she sent me i still haven't opened now i'm going to take um when I'm done with his face and I'm going to take like little wisps of black to like redefine areas like um because I want him scowling so I'm going to use black to sort of outline things <laughs> yeah oh boy wow I agree Ashley but you know, karma. When all else fails, I believe in karma. I believe in karma because it's gotten me both ways. So, like, I just want a little something between. Let me get a little bit thicker needle because a little something between here so it looks like it's two halves. And I don't know if this is going to work because I might have to do this again. Sometimes it's easier for me to do things when I'm not on camera. But I just want to show you um, that and I'm going to do around his mouth definitely when I'm not on camera. But um, 
it sounds old when I'm on camera. It's just when I can concentrate and and not have to think of talking and and doing art at the same time. Okay. Thought I was going to need my little leather fingers, but I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. That's gunky stuff. Okay. Okay. Open the one I sent you with the guy. Open the one I sent you with the guy in it. Yeah, I got to I got to reopen that. I think I saw it, but you know what? I have got to tell you, everybody, my, my why is this going to go off? My my uh my memory is bad. Is really bad. Uh, it's getting worse and worse and worse. I sorry, Christine. I think I opened it, but for the life of me, I wouldn't remember what it was. I think maybe, you know what? Maybe it's because I'm trying to do too many things at the same time. Maybe I'm just getting overloaded in my brain. I know, I know everybody's going to say dementia. I'm not even going to look, but I'm thinking that maybe it's because I just have too many things going on in my brain at one time. <sighs> See, like that's too thick. That's too thick. I don't know if any, wait, can anybody see what I'm doing here? I got enough lights. Okay, see that? It's it's a little too thick and I don't like it. I, so, all right, take some of it off. Okay. He's, oh, he's got to help you. Ah. All right. Well, hopefully he does. Okay. I'm not liking how that looks. It's too thick. And I just want it just a little line. Just a little line. That's all I want. From the nose down. We just try to make ourselves just a little line. All right. Well, you know what? We can finish that. Like I said, let's take some of this off. Okay. This is garbage. So he's really fluffy with all of this new um, wool that I put on him. He's sort of very fluffy. And again, if I see like play, ow. Shoot, that wasn't, I didn't poke myself. If I see places that have lines in it, I'm just going to cut them and, and redo them. Okay. Okay. All right, I have to look, Christina. I'm, I'm sorry, I got a guy with smoking pot. No, I don't remember that. Then I probably remember it when I look at it. <clears throat> Oh, so we took the train. I don't know if anybody knows this, and we discussed it <clears throat> last time. But because I, because I have such a love, well, a fear of flying, Megan and I took the train from Charlotte to New York, and I think I'm going to have to get over my fear of flying because that was a really long trip. Okay, so <clears throat> we had a little bit of a layover in Washington, D.C., so we could get out of the train. And those are the people that were smoking or whatever. They got out of the train. And then all of a sudden, and the conductors were there. So it wasn't like, you know, they were going to leave without us or anything like that. And all of a sudden, um, you started to smell pot. And I didn't know this. And the conductor that was there, she was a lady. And she was a pip. And she was like, don't let me sell, uh, he, smell that you're smoking pot. We're on federal land. I just want you to know that. And and, and uh, marijuana is not legal on federal land no matter what. And I, I was like, I didn't know that. Who knew that, you know? But And who knew that Amtrak was on federal land? I mean, I didn't know who owned them. But she was like, put the pot out. Don't smoke it, you know? And I was like, well, I don't see any police officers here on federal land. But then what do I know? They could have been undercover people all over the place. Oh, am I on screen? I certainly hope I'm on screen. Okay. So, all right. We got that a little bit better. He's a little bit lighter. I just have to keep doing that. So let's move on to something else because I'm, I'm getting a little tired with that. Oh, and... um. 
here's the color it's it's a lighter gray but i think it'll look good and then i'm gonna for some of his wisps now that i know what we're talking about but i might and i'm gonna add a little white on top of it but i think that'll look good for his little wispy head here okay so <clears throat> because i really don't feel like doing any polymer clay i'm gonna see if i could start doing his hat Oh, <gasps> Ashley. Oh, I certainly hope so. Oh, 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 I certainly, let's see, do I need these? I certainly hope he gets custody. Okay, that would be really good news. All right, now what do I need? Do I need a, I think I need, can I use this? Probably. I don't think I need to go and get, oh, goodness, making noise. What else can I use? Oh, I can use this. I don't have to go out and go up and get anything. Oh, I certainly hope. How long? I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this, so how long would it take? I mean, I, I don't, like, would it take, I guess what I'm asking, I guess anything can take a long time with the legal system. Uh, oh, gosh. I know, Barbara, I know you missed that little one already. It's so cute. All right, I think I better stop just winding without any direction here. I can add to it now. Let's just get some of this... Um, and this got all turned around, so I'm going to have to cut this off, too. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, this is just, we're just going to see if we like it um, like this. We can still make the other one, but I think I could give this more character. If I could ever get that to go where it's supposed to go. Hey, Anthony, did they take all the um, the stitches out of your leg yet? I know that my husband had to do it. They did it in two shifts. They did every other one, and then they went back and did. Um, I think they went back and did the other ones that they left. Oh, no court date. They are making them go through mediation. <sighs> well, I am glad about that. Okay, now I probably need my little finger claps because now I can tell. Well, I guess, you know, the uh, the woman who bore her, because I'm not even sure I would like to call her a mother, um, she can make things difficult, you know. So Megs thought I was going to... Um, put him in his nightgown. And I was thinking that's a great idea too, which is the uh, slippers on his feet instead of making the boots, you know? Meg thought that. But uh, no, I'm gonna put him in his, his uh, 
Ow, mother of goodness gracious. That went right through the leather clot. Okay. Not bleeding now. Just a pinch. Very glad I put them on. Yeah, with him and his slippers and stuff. But then he, I don't know if he would look like, I would have to do the three ghosts at that point because then he would just look like any older gentleman, you know, any older mouse in slippers and the long hat, you know, and that um, a night, night clothes. Oh, there you go. What happened to, there we go. Hey, Lynn. Aw. Hi, Lynn. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm Jeff. I don't know how he's doing. Kids won't answer my calls. And he's 250 miles away, and that's pretty far. I'm sorry about that, Lynn, but I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you get to be with us, and I'm glad you're able to make it here so you can at least be with all of us. Did Megan finish her book? Not yet. We're working on it. It's it's slow going. It's it's um. There's a, a lot of little things that she's doing, and uh, for a while there, we weren't really working on it a lot. Like this week, we haven't worked on it a lot because we haven't been up here in this room together. But we're going to have to start doing that more and more now. It's been a little unsettled here in the house. As everybody knows. <laughs> and so we've just been trying to... Uh, you know, today is Monday. What's going to happen today has sort of been like that. You know, Lynn, I don't, just to finish the, that conversation, I don't know why people are like that. I really don't know why people are like that. They could at least let you know how he is. I, I, I don't understand. Nor, you know, oh gosh, people are just Oh, that's too big, June. What the heck are you doing? Where was I going for? Okay. Um, I just don't understand. Let's see if I can get to cut this off or not. We'll see. Maybe if I had scissors. Oh, look at that. That went off pretty good. Blood would have been squirting. Yes. Yes, Christine. Blood would have been squirting all over the place. Uh, I don't. I, well, let's see if I can make it smaller. Just with just condensing it. Now, do I need the heavy duty guys? And I should be working on his shoes because that's what I said. And so far, I haven't done a thing on his feet. Uh, well, uh, I just wanted to start this to give myself an idea. Yeah, Shannon, people are cruel. I just don't understand. And, I, you know, sometimes you just, I don't get it. You know? Although people probably thought I was cruel, too. Did I make him the mouse in a nice shirt? No, I don't. I don't remember that. Who knows? I don't think so, no. I don't think I did that yet. I made a wizard mouse. I don't know if I made one in polymer clay. No. I never did that. That would be cute, though. It really would be. Maybe if I do the three ghosts, I'll have to do, this will be one Scrooge that could sell by himself. And if I do the three ghosts, I'll make a Scrooge 
with too many night um, a nightgown and slippers and a long hat. That would be cute. So I'm making some more bread. I started it today. This bread takes two days to make. You get it all together to sourdough and you have to do some things to it. You know, you, you sort of need it. They call it, this would be really fun if I could show everybody. Everybody should look up. Oh, how fun this is. It's called the slap and fold technique where you take the dough and you slap it and then you fold it over. Oh, it's so much fun. You want to talk about getting frustrations out. Oh, my goodness. I slapped the poops out of that dough today. That dough was slapped. And, um, yeah, so I did that. And I'm going to bake it tomorrow. And then I'm going to try my hand. I'm, I'm just in the mood to bake. And thank goodness I have a few people over here that I can, that would like extra loaves. So um, I'm baking, I made, the bread that I made today is for two loaves. And then tomorrow I'm going to try to tr uh, do two different types of cinnamon raisin bread. I'm not going to put, not the raisins, I'm sorry, just cinnamon swirl bread. I don't like raisins in bread. So we're going to do that. And we're going to have fun with that, I hope. Let's see. All right, there's a lot of work I have to do on this, but at least this was started. So let's see if we're going to do some shoes. You made a mouse in the crib. Yes, I did. I didn't make a mouse with a candle and a nightcap. No, I made a mouse in the crib. I don't remember making a mouse like that. No, I made father a Father Brown type mouse. I made, besides all the women butterfly and the queens and the kings and the queen and king and um, all the fairy little mice, I'm trying to remember what other mice, uh, it's not, and I don't think I made one in polymer clay either. Not in a night shirt with a thing. Hey Martha, how you doing? You know, I was wondering, can you ship bread? Can you, but I don't know how long it takes. Because then it would get stale. I mean, I could wrap it really good and everything else like that, but I don't know how long it takes to, to how, how long packages take. Unless I overnighted it, but then that would be like a lot of money. I'm trying to remember all the most I've made. I can't even recall that. Jeez, I got such a... I made a Robin Hood mouse type thing. Um, what else have I made? I made, I made a ballerina mouse for that uh, Black Swan contest we were in. Who won that Black Swan contest? Barbara, did you win that Black Swan contest? This is years ago. I don't remember who won. Because I didn't make video, I, you know, I didn't make a video of mine at the time. So I think mine was disqualified because it didn't have a video. Not disqualified, it just wasn't going to, because there was no video attached to it. If you can, I'll take a look. I made angel mice, yes. Ashley, if I could get this, if I could, I would definitely send it. You know? I just don't know if, if it's going to take such a long time, if it's going to get stale. I mean, I know how you can freshen it up by like, um, what do I do? First, I, you, you put it in the microwave and then you have to toast it. But I don't know. Oh, look at Joanne. I'm not buying loaves, Joanne. But I mean, if it takes two or three days to get to you people, then it's going to... I mean, even if I wrap it in tin foil, I put it in a plastic bag. And so look at gel things. All right. I just don't want it to be, you know, be, be stale by the time you ladies get it. And nobody's buying no loaves. Well, 
All right, let me start working on because that'll be fun for me. All right, moving on, moving on. Move that over there, move that over there. I don't know, maybe do I feel like continuing on this little hat? Because it just has to be a little bit thicker and then we'll leave it alone because I have to add character to it. So let's see what I can do and then I'll start with this feet. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. I don't know if my sister's coming up. Oh, there goes my thing again. It was getting, it was losing its light. I don't know if my sister is coming on here today. I haven't heard from her. I emailed her with all the things. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And maybe if it's in the tin foil in the plastic bag, it wouldn't get stale. Well, you know what? I can always try. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, I don't, you know, if I say anything, it's going to sound like I'm bragging, but uh, it's not my recipe. So I can say this, that it's darn good bread. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's darn good. It's not my recipe. I am following the recipe. It's not my idea because I wouldn't have thought of this in a million years, but gosh, it's good bread. I don't think my sister's coming in tonight. What? How depressing is that? So has anybody been doing any crafting? Tell me what you lady. Well, I know Joanne's been gardening. Christine is getting her stuff together. And maybe she said she's in a mood to start crafting, which would be fun, fun, fun. Barbara, are you doing anything? Ashley Shannon, I know you've been busy getting your, your house ready for your new lady who's so lovely, which I'm just so glad that... You got rid of that other one and that this one's lovely. I know Anthony hasn't been able to do anything because he's been getting operated on. I don't know if Moth is continuing. Let me know what you guys are doing. What is your weakness? Wow. Well, I, have I talked to you about how I think that the reason why everybody's got... Um, gluten problems and the celiac disease is because they modified the wheat so much that they've um, taken it and, 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 you know, try to improve it, make it less disease resist. I mean, make it more disease resistant and all that stuff. So they messed it up and then, okay, I think I can work with this. All right, let's put this aside. Cause seriously, I got to start doing the shoes. Like I said, okay. Um, Oh, yeah. Holiday meals. Yes, that would be fun. That would be a lot of fun if you guys can come up or, or come down or whatever the case may be for a holiday meal. That would be a lot of fun. Christmas is a the Christmas meal is a whole day affair. Halloween is more like one course right after the other. Thanksgiving, I go out, and that's about it. I don't really do anything new. Oh, okay, June, you can't keep, she wants to keep needle filter. I don't really do anything for um, the rest of the year. Whoa, needles are flying. Where did that go? I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. All right, it's on the floor somewhere. Oh, boy, okay. Wow. Oh, 
That sounds that sounds great, Martha. That sounds absolutely great and interesting. I don't remember the rocking chair. Oh, Cora's here. She's here. Yay, Cora, I see you. Sister. Hi, sweetie. Hi, how are you? Okay, I didn't think you were going to come on. Well, you know, it's like at the last minute I get people calling me and then, you know, William calls me, can you book this appointment for me? I'm like, no, I'm going on with my sister. Like, what What about this time? Just, uh, anyway, here I am. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 So my sister, what are we working on? We're working on that mouse, huh? I can see. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. I have all the lights on, so it should be getting a little bit better. We had problems at the beginning for her. Um, let me get up my chat. Well, I'm going to lose it in a second. but You know what? I'm I'm thinking about I just made it big, and now I don't know how to make it smaller. Oh, here it is. Exit full screen because I have to see the chat myself. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, I couldn't. I wasn't audible before, at the beginning. Megan had to come in. It was like five to ten minutes. We couldn't figure it out. What happened? I don't know. We still don't know. Oh boy. All right. Well, That's the world fine. is going to hell. World is going to hell in a handbasket. So there you go. Hi, yeah. Ashley. Hey, Shannon. Hi, Christine, Barbara, Martha. Okay. So I see that all the gals are here. Yay. Do we have the guy here or no? Yes, Antonio was here earlier. I don't know if he's still here, but he's oh, getting Tony. around. He okay. surprised his mom for Mother's Day and he was able to go and see her. Well, that was lovely. He surprised her, which was very nice. Yes. Very good. Very good. Busy day. Busy day. We are hopefully hiring a staff accountant that went in today to on site. Um, I'm I'm uh, mm -hmm. I'm recruiting for a staff accountant for this company I'm working for, guys, and it's in Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> oh, anyway. They, he went in today and they really liked him. So, and I sent a girl in yesterday that they didn't like as much. So I'm hoping that that's going to be it, but I have two more people to interview tomorrow and we'll see how they do. One of which blew me off for this morning. He said that he was expecting a phone call and not a video. And I'm like, well, that's interesting because when you weren't on the video, I did give you a call, you know, like really. So anyhow, he is, um, I gave him one more chance tomorrow and we'll see what his story is. And then oh, I have one other. So I have a 9 a.m. Uh, California time and a 1230 staff accountants. And then I have two project managers in between. So busy day tomorrow, four people interviewing, four people. Anyway, how is everybody doing? Oh, Michael. Hi, everyone. First time, long time. Who's Michael Prisco? Mike. Mike, oh, you're Mike. Oh, hi, Mike. God, well, we're so used to being at the you at the game that I'm so excited that you're here. Hi, Mike. Mike's here. Mike, hi. you got the link if you want to come on. Oh, right, that's right. He has a link because he can also come on, like yes, his his if face. If you wanted to. Oh, all right. Well, there you go, Michael. You know, you might as well come on. I'm sitting here on the thing and I'm looking like hell today. And I see all this crap in, behind me that I should have really fixed up. But OK. Do you want me to do you want me to just be me? Yeah, I don't need to be on. It's you lovely, sure? to, but I can't see everyone. So it's like all I can see are your hands, my sister. So so it's cool. OK, so I'll put I'll put me on. Yeah. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Well, let's see this little mouse. How is this little Topo Gigio coming? Let's see. Oh, my. <laughs> he is so cute, my sister. Look at those ears. Oh, my God. He's I, just, I just changed his color, Cora, from this dark gray to a little bit lighter gray. I like it. I like so, it a lot. You can see him a lot better. I like yes. it. Yes. And I'm going to put hair on him. Yes, thank oh, you, Barbara. Well, I'm feeling much better. Yeah, last week I was a little under the weather. And uh, today I'm uh, feeling much better. I have this magic potion, actually, Barbara, I'll tell you. 
um, it's the stuff that I get from, I go to a wellness doctor up the street. It's called Reveal Wellness. And I used to get some acupuncture done. And lately I haven't gotten that, but I go to the hyperbaric chamber every uh, Sunday for about an hour. Last few weeks, she wasn't open on a Sunday, but basically for the last six months, pretty much on Sundays, I, I've been going there for an hour. And that's the hyperbaric chamber is somewhere where, you know, you go inside and basically, although I'm, I'm very claustrophobic, so I had to work up to this, but you go inside this chamber and basically you breathe in um, pure oxygen for an hour. And it's so great for all of your... Um, all of your organs and your skin and it's just good and i really feel water? a different huh is there water in there water no yeah no so what is it it's just like a big coffin with air nice june oh uh, yeah a coffin <laughs> a coffin with air thank you so much i'll remember that on sunday when i'm in there and i'll probably start freaking out but um <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah but uh, usually when i don't feel well i like to go in the hyperbaric but and you know on sundays and it's whatever but last sunday was mother's day so she closed and she's been closed for the last like three or four weeks on sundays because she's doing other things with her kids oh anyway oh, these people right. are, you know really yeah exactly because i don't have any other day to go i work monday yeah. through friday and then on Saturday, you know, I have all my errands to do. I don't have time to really do that. And on Sunday, it's great because it's half price. So anyway, oh. so Michael, it sounds like it's something you would like. Yes, it's good, Michael, for anybody that's athletic because basically, you know, it, it helps um, heal. So a lot of people, after they've been through surgery, they go into hyperbaric to heal quickly or more quickly. And so anyway, I don't know why the hell I got on this subject. Well, but, could you um, give us more of a description of what hyperbaric is? Okay, so it's a it's it's a coffin with uh, oxygen in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's like a tanning bed that's closed. I mean, they zip you in, okay? So you're zipped. <laughs> You're zipped in. Now, you know what? You're making me be, I'm going to be claustrophobic this week and calling her to just get me the hell out of there. <laughs> I'm going to be screaming. I'm thinking of you at 1045 on Sunday morning, That's screaming because I'm going to need. One. What? That's 145 my time. Yeah. So well, just to think of because I'll be screaming your name out because I'm going to be in this <laughs> hyperbaric coffin. Anyway, so it's just you lay down on this, you know, whatever, it fills up with oxygen and the pressure, the pre yeah, and then you're breathing oxygen for about an hour. I mean, we're thinking of getting one for the house. Wow. So that we could actually, you know, they have more portable ones that you could actually get for the house and, and because they're really, really good. It's so good for people with PTSD, brain injuries, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, net, net. Um, I usually try to go in that when I'm not feeling well, because whenever I come out of there, I always feel so much better. But anyway, just FYI, hyperbaric people, it's out there. There's a lot of spas that have it now. And you don't have to do it for an hour. You could do it for a half hour if you want or whatever, just to get Is used it to expensive? it. I did it in huh? I guess if it's expensive. Um, it depends, Michael. You know, it, it can be. Um, I go to her on Sundays because... Basically, nobody was coming in on Sunday, so she decided to give it to everybody at half price. So, and then she gives us a military discount because of my husband's stint in the military. So, for us, it's really cheap, and that's why I go. But normally and customarily, it could run a couple of hundred bucks. Um, but again, you know, there are different places, and you can kind of, you know, you can check different places out in different prices. And then sometimes if you buy like, quantity like you know if you buy a bunch then you get a discount uh price but it really is great michael and for someone like you that's you know athletic and does coaching and all that kind of stuff it's really really fabulous well it's fabulous for everybody because it also retards aging it's good for your skin i mean i don't know folks if you have the opportunity to try it you may want to try it but anyway so yeah so i didn't get to go but i did i do buy this spray from her that is a spray, and I know you all are going to think I'm crazy, but you know what? You probably think that anyway, before I even tell you this. Um, it's a spray that actually you spray on your skin, you rub it in, four sprays, 
and it kills viruses. So basically I use that for two days and then I felt a lot better. And I also have something, I don't know if any of you are aware of oil of oregano, but oil of oregano tablets are great if you have a sore throat because you take half a tablet, you suck on it for about three minutes and then, and then you swallow it and it's really, really good for sore throats. So anyway, I did a combination of all of that and I'm feeling better. So aren't you glad you asked, Barb? I swear. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so that's the scoop. Yeah, so thank you. I feel a lot better. But that was what I did. And the spray got me through the whole COVID thing. I mean, anytime I thought, oh my God, COVID or whatever, I was spraying myself once a day with that stuff. And then I washed I wash it off after 45 minutes or so because it's kind of a little bit sticky. So I spray it right on my chest and kind of rub it in and uh, before I get dressed and then um, and then wash it off and then, you know, and then get dressed and stuff. But yeah, it's great stuff. So the end result is the end result you, is I'm better. Thank you. You put you get put in a plastic bag. They right. Put, so I'm in a coffin for for an hour. Thank you, my sister. Okay, and I'll never be able to like think of it as any anything but it. that. Huh? They put air into it, oxygen. Yes. Okay. And then you sit in there and you're laying in there for an hour, breathing in oxygen. Yep. We got it. Okay. And it's and it's I usually expensive. listen to my I listen to my binaural beats when I'm in there and I'm just like zoning out and meditating. It's so it's so <laughs> relaxing and it really is making a difference with William's um anger level. <laughs> Oh, his uh, his craziness. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't listen. He doesn't watch me, right? Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> or I'm I'm in the shit house. Forget about a uh, forget about the coffin. I'm gonna be in the shit house anyway. So yeah. So that's the scoop. What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? What are you wait? Are you shopping while you're on the? No, day? I'm trying to look up. I'm looking up pictures. Of what? Men's spats. Trying to figure out how to make the shoes. Oh, well, those look like lovely shoes. You, know, I think oh, you're you doing a good job. Okay, my phone is just going to, my phone, everything is misbehaving. Okay, so I don't know the Final Destination movie. I'm going back a little bit, Ashley. I don't, I've never been in a tanning bed, and I don't know what the Final Destination movie the is. I never saw it. Joanne, that was very sweet. You missed Joanne's lovely comment. Okay, and I think he's like the show Art and Health Tips. You oh, thanks, Joanne. Yeah, I just I missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm falling down on the job here. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Joanne. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Um, you know what? He said I compare you to a vampire. So we're more. You know, you know, my sister, you're in a mood. I can tell. She's in a mood, people. She's in a mood, people. Get ready. <laughs> You know, Michael, yes, we get we go through everything, art, health, everything. We yeah, go you gotta everything. give us all our thing later before we leave. Well, stop giving me the oh my god, oh the pressure. I have pressure all day. Relax. I, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Jesus, she's in a mood, people. She's making me nuts. Okay. I'm not in a mood. I'm in a great mood. You're in a who? Who? I used to go in tanning beds all the time, Ashley. The first thing when I got out to California, I loved that overall alt tan, total tan. It was great. And now <laughs> basil cell. Yeah. So yeah, basil well, cell, Kansas spot. What? So don't do it. Don't do it. I huh? never went to tanning bell and I had one. Remember I'm on my nose. Well, it wasn't that oh, long. Well, though. see, then I should just pop right back in those tanning beds. What the hell? Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> Well, no, because I are, I've already had, I've already had two or three spots removed, so that it wasn't, it wasn't fun. Um, instead of it being dark, you can have the tanning lights in the coffin with the air. I think it works. They can't do the same. Oh my God! You see what I'm saying, people? Look, she's crazy today. She's crazy. She's gone loco. It's I'm over. Getting, am I getting, what am I getting messaged? Okay. Oh, goodness. Huh? Everybody. Shannon said she does the same thing with her sister. Wait, what? 
I can't See, Joanne was this trying to be this very I'm good, Joanne. I think that's finish. fabulous. What? My sister's having a mental and emotional breakdown right now. What? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I don't Jesus. like the shoes. Okay. Oh. I do the shoes. I'm gonna do some more that. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you all something. I gotta tell you wait, something. Wait, I'm very right, upset. Okay. And then when William Hold comes home. All right. What happened? You're in the movie. Okay. I want to get up to date on the on the thing. On the chat. What thing? The chat. Are what you about the chat? The I want to get yes, I am. Started. And Joanne was listening. I'm trying to say she listened to Bernardo Beats, which is fabulous. I'm so happy somebody else knows what that is. And she does breath work for breath work for an hour every day, which is like you know total meditation, and that's fabulous, Joanne. It makes a difference mentally and emotionally. You're absolutely right. I totally agree with you. I used to do TM. I don't know why I got out of it, but transcendental meditation. But I should get back into it and do it at least once a day for 20 minutes. I really should. I could. I could really use it. <laughs> but anyway. I'm up at, I'm up to date on the chat. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Because I was going to tell us about this. So what are you going to tell All right, us? go ahead. Well, it's your show. Go ahead, tell us. <laughs> I'm only a guest. I'm just a guest, folks. So. Okay, here we go. This is the, the flesh color um, that I'm going to use for his hands. Remember when I was telling everybody how to leach the clay? This is too soft for me to to get um, his hands with because they're just going to stretch right out. Uh, my hands will have the residue of the black clay on it, but this is just too stretchy. So I'm going to leach some of this. The last time I leached some of this clay, I think it was the other flesh tone that I had, and I leached a little too much. So this and so that meant I took too much of the whatever product it is that softens this clay and keeps it pliable. But you can take some of it out by just um, running it through your pasta machine. Or if you don't have a pasta machine, roll it flat, put it between two pieces of paper, and then make sure that if you're going to put it down on especially fabric that you put some kind of like tin foil on it and then put a weight on it. So it's tin foil, paper, clay, uh, paper, tin foil, book, because that's the, the leaching chemical will go on everything. It sort of looks like grease on a piece of paper when you take it apart. But that's the only way that I'm going to get this clay firm enough to be able to sculpt with any kind of details. Now, sometimes people say put it in the refrigerator or put it in the freezer. That's fine for like 10 minutes. But to, to do hands, it's going to take me longer than 10 minutes to do. So all I would be doing is constantly putting it away, taking it out, putting it away. And that's not how to work. So that's not going to work. So the best way, if you ever get too soft clay, if you ever do use polymer clay, is to leach it. So that's what I should have done yesterday. But I didn't even think about what I was going to do today until this morning, to be honest with you. So um, I'm going to be doing that. Work. Good prep. Okay. <laughs> I can't get the I can't get the feet because I need to look at stuff and I'm not getting the feet the way I want it. So go look at stuff. Go look at stuff. Well, uh, what did you want to say? I, I oh, all right. So it. wait a second. So Mother's Day has come and gone, and Happy Mother's Day for all of you. Uh, mothers that are out there and potential mothers and, and pet mothers and everything. Happy Mother's Day. So listen to this. So I think I told you last week that I'm going to be a grandma, right? But glamour, right? So right. great. So fabulous. And then my stepdaughter is also um, wanting to come out to California and visit for two weeks with her husband, which I'm really not thrilled about having. I don't really like him. So anyway, yeah. what? Cora, I, this is social. It's out all over the place. What happened? Don't say you don't like somebody. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, I don't. Yeah. Well, I don't like him. What? Like <laughs> that's bad to say. Well, all right. You know, you? I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with him in my house. So anyway, all right, fine. Anyhow, okay. So that's not the point. The point of the story is. Mother's Day comes and goes. You know, I'm a stepmom, right? I don't yes. hear from her the whole day. I don't hear from Sade. 
Oh. No happy Mother's Day, no text, no nothing. And I'm like, excuse me? Uh-huh. I'm only, I, I guess I'm only good for when you want something like, you know what I mean? So I was like, ah, oh, that was kind of hurtful. So I wasn't happy about that. So I just wanted to let everybody know. That's it. Okay. There you go. For what it's worth. Well, I agree. <laughs> Shannon, look how brutally honest I am. See, <laughs> see, somebody appreciates me. Thank you, Shannon. Cora, I don't, I don't care. You can say whatever you want. I just don't want the, you know, the wrath of oh, the Ashley, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. Ashley, it was, it's just that, you know, it's just I really... And you know what? I don't even really care, but I'm thinking, you know what? We were just talking about you coming out with your husband for two weeks, in which case, you know, it's not that easy because we live on a military installation and to get people on and off the base and get them set up with a pass and everything. I mean, June's oh, been through not this. not easy. You have no. to go to the... <laughs> it's you a pain in the butt. What was his name? Who? Oh, Ramirez. Ramones. 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 He was Guess busy. What? Guess what? I have to go see him again because uh, August, it, my my ID expires. So William said that the other day. Oh, we'll have to go see Ramones. I said, I'm not going there. I'm going to go. I have to go to a different location. Oh, I you can't. have to go see Ramones. Not without you. I'm not going. <laughs> well, I'm not and you know what, Barbara? You're right. That's bull poo poo. Because I must tell you that... And the weird thing is, I said, oh, my God, you know, I the first thing my mind goes to is I hope she's all right. I hope everything's fine with the baby. I hope that, right? And then there is a group text that all of William's side of the family has. And, of course, I'm on that text. So then yesterday I get a text from Sade, and it says, and it says something that doesn't make any sense to me. And I figure, oh, she's probably reacting to something on the group test, text. So I look on the group text and the group text says that several people are planning to come out to California. So I'm like, oh my God. So, okay, so whatever. There's other family that can, that can you know, help out with that whole situation. But my point is, she texted me yesterday about that, but never texted me on, on Sunday at all. So I thought, yeah, here I was thinking, oh, my God, I hope she's okay. But, I, you know, blah, 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 blah. But, me, but meanwhile, she's fine. So I that's called that. you. Huh? I called you. Yes, you did, my sister, and I called you. You called me? No, I don't know. Did I call you? Well, I know we spoke. I don't know who called who. What are you doing now, my sister? What do you need? I'm making a hat because I didn't like, I mean, I'm finishing the hat. I'm finishing needle faulting the hat because I didn't like how his shoes were coming and I have to look at stuff. All right. Well, you got to tell us what you're doing. How do we know? We all we always use a black blob. What? <laughs> what? Well, Earlier, I was making. Oh, did everybody else know already? I'm sorry. I'm late to the no. show. I'm sorry, people. I'm, I'm late to the show. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're the Dilly sisters. After all, are my sister, we're the Dilly edge? sisters. We, we are the Dillies. Well, you are the edge, my sister. I'm always on the edge. You're the edge. We're I'm the always edge. over the edge. I'm always over the edge. Uh huh. But anyway, so that's the story. No respect. I get no respect. You sound like Rodney. That's right. But it's true. I get no okay. respect. What was I going to say? Oh, you, you know, we never told you what the word, what our, uh, um, what? our phrase for the North Carolina trip was. No, you didn't. What was the phrase for Portland? That's okay, Ash. Christine Alex and June is snorting. <laughs> What's what was that thing for Portland Court? What do you what'd you say? I can't hear you. What's all right, don't tell me I went mute again. This is gonna be a problem. What was our thing for Portland when we went to Portland? What was our phrase? San Francisco was into the woods. What so what was the other one? What was Portland? I don't remember any phrase. In, you don't remember into the woods? I don't remember a phrase. Before? Well, we said I don't remember. 
I don't remember our phrase from Portland. What was it? I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't think we had one. We had one. We have one for every trip. Wow. Okay. Well, then uh, you're asking the wrong person. Uh, maybe, make, may, maybe Megan Marie will, will remember. Can you text her? Oh, okay. I mean, she's right next door, but I don't feel like yelling. Well, our South, our North Carolina, I didn't go to South Carolina. Our North Carolina trip was, we were scoping it. We scoped we it out. We were what? We scoped it out. Yeah. Oh, listen, I have a couple more places for you to check out. Cindy's on the case now. She's not stopping. Okay. You said text them to me. Okay. If you can. Yeah. What was the phrase? For the Portland trip. Portland trip. Probably more like crap from Portland. Yeah, it was, that was sort of very, very close. Very depressing. Yep, Portland is not the way it used to be. That is for damn sure. Finger on the pulse. Finger, see? I knew we had the finger on the pulse. Nah. Do you remember it, Mel? No, no. You? I don't yes. I don't know that I was there when you had that. No, of course you were there when we had that. We had all right, well then, you know what? I, 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 yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's okay, because I can't remember anything any, anymore either. All right. Thank God, thank God Megan remembers stuff. My, okay. Megan's, Megan's my memory. Okay. I need to look for shoes online. You talk to everybody. Well, what's wrong with the hat? I don't know. I can't do anything more with the hat. All right. Well, listen, I looked up, I looked up this thing on social media. Okay. On the, and it says, well, this is something different than I usually look up, but also I wanted everyone to know we are in the dark moon until the new moon in Taurus on May 19th which is Friday, guys. Release. Oh, no, we're in the new moon, the dark of the moon. That's a horrible We are in the dark that. moon until the new moon in Taurus on May 19th. I Release. hate the dark of the moon or the new moon. Okay. I hate them. Release, recharge, relax, and reflect. Our physical world is about to go through some more massive changes. Oh, oh okay. God. All right. Okay. Just so you know, that's what's happening there. 18, what did I put there? 2018, 50, 50s, men. Okay. Shoes. And here's the words for today. You ready? Yeah. I'm, okay. Hold on. I'm looking up images. Give me a sec. Oh, okay. I said 1850s. Ah, here we go. Uh, what is this? They, they're giving me shoes now. All right. We'll figure it See, I don't understand these websites. I don't want a boy. I want what I asked for. Tell me this guy looks like he's from 1850. What happened? I didn't say boots. Who wanted boots? I said shoes. I swear my phone is doing its own thing. It's haunted. My phone is just going off the deep end. Our look phones at are listening. Oh, look at these. I love it. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't think. Cora, look at these. Ashley, I know that wasn't good vibes, but I'm going to hopefully give you some good vibes now. I just wanted you to know that, um, yeah, to recharge, recharge, rewind, do all that good stuff now. You can't see these. Those are cute boots. Oh, my God, June. That's like that guy, <laughs> the taxi driver. <laughs> yeah, can you see? Why is everything so dark? The dark of the moon. Okay. Here's my thing. I'm going to tell you, Ashley, here's my thing <clears throat> with the dark of the moon. Everybody says that you get crazy during the full moon. And maybe that's true because the tides are, uh, the tides are higher and the tides are stronger and we are predominantly water. So if the moon can make the ocean, which is so vast, do strange things. I'm sure the moon can make the water in our bodies do strange things so we feel differently. But me, with always the new moon, or I always called it the dark of the moon, but because everybody nowadays calls it the new moon, it's when there is no moon in the sky. And I always felt 
that primitive people, not, and I shouldn't say primitive because they were probably, them a heck of a lot more smarter than I think half of us, well, me, I should talk, than I am today because they knew how to live without any of these modern conveniences we have. And they understood the cycles of nature and the cycles of the earth and, and so many more things than I will ever understand or know. But when the only light they had was in the night sky, and when there's a full, beautiful uh, moon, it's very, it's almost light outside. But when there's no moon, it's very dark. And I don't know about anybody else, but I don't like being in total darkness. I sleep with a little bit of a light on. I don't like total darkness. And to me, the dark of the moon means there's no light. So you have to face your darkest fears or your darkest parts of yourself. And that's why I don't like the, the new moon or the dark of the moon. It always, it always reminds me of things. It's the beginning. Okay. There's another way of thinking of it. If you want to think of it um, from, da, uh, from new moon to new moon, because the full moon is the end of the cycle, supposedly. Like in the new moon, you plant the things deep that you want to grow for that month. But, uh, and then by the full moon, they're supposed to be, have manifested and then you can make adjustments from the full moon to the new moon, something like that. You can think of it that way. But to me, it's always looking at your fears. Your fears always come up more to me when I'm in, when it's a new moon because it's dark in the sky. Damn. And that's how I look at it. Okay. Well, that was depressing. I thought that was pretty good. Depressing. Between that and the coffin, I'm ready to commit suicide over here. <laughs> Jesus, I don't understand. All right, let, let me let me give some words of wisdom, okay? All right, May 17th, 2023. Woo! The universe is saying to you today, <laughs> embrace the present moment, for it is where true power resides. Let go Ooh. of regrets. Let go of regrets from the past and worries about the future. Cultivate gratitude for what you have now and fully engage in the richness of the present. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Was that good? Ashley, was that good? That was a good one. Look at how yeah. positive you are. It, right. Embrace the present moment okay. for it is where true power resides, folks. So there we are. Embrace the present. I'm embracing. So let's embrace these shoes and get them done, okay? <laughs> I got to I got to work. I got to look at them. They're not they're not making me happy. No, I thought you were going to do the little boots that you saw on the internet with the little curly creek curly No, no, no. He's Scrooge. He doesn't have curly Q boots. I just I just brought that up because I thought you loved them. Oh, I see. That that was the those were the boots that that taxi driver had on when I went into Manhattan <laughs> that day on the magic carpet ride that I thought I was dying. I thought my life was over. Yes, I was. And no, but and paparazzi wasn't running after me like Megan and and the other one, oh, Megan and Prince Harry. Did oh, you hear all about that today? No. Oh. They were in New York yesterday, and I guess the paparazzi uh, uh, was following them. They said on a, on some kind of a chase for two hours that they almost they almost um, got in crash, got in a crash. Oh, looks like his mom. We just yeah, I'm like yeah. I, I you know I find it really hard to believe that you can go fast in New York enough with traffic to really have a chase. And this is what I don't understand. Like, why can't you just not chase? Like, stop. Let people take pictures. What's the big deal? You love taking pictures. You are out on the town. You look great, I'm sure. You were probably dressed to the nines. Like, what's what's the problem with paparazzi taking pictures? So why don't you just stop and not let anybody chase you? Well, I don't know. I, that's one thing is I don't know how they can chase in New York City. That's I what mean, I'm saying. If they, one, if they were in one of the boroughs. She was in Brooklyn. Well, she was in Bro the The event was in Brooklyn, but... She said it was for two hours. I mean, two hours. You can go from New York to friggin' Connecticut to to uh, New Hampshire in two hours. I mean, I I don't I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. I guess we'll find out more about it. But that's what happened. But thank God they're okay. So whatever. But that's what happened last night in New York. So 
I'm sure. And some I of missed you it. And I huh? totally missed it. Well, my sister, you don't watch the news. Of course not. Suppressing. That's why I'm filling you in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All gracious. right, Ashley, let's go back to the good vibes. The universe is saying embrace the present moment. Okay. I'm embracing. Right. So I'm what embracing. do you do with those shoes, my sister? What do you I don't what know. Do you do? I don't know. I got I to gotta think about them. They're not making me happy. There's 20 minutes to, to the end of the show, by the way. 20 minutes? Wow. I That's guess it. It's 540 already. 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. we could just do it in chat because I, I don't even know if anybody even watches me for what I'm doing online anymore. What I do you mean? They, I think they just come for the chatting. No, they don't just come for the chatting. We're learning. We're learning. We just learned how to bleach, leech, whatever. And what a hydroplanic chamber is what was that oh yeah yeah hyperbaric hyperbaric well knowledge is supposed to be shared and we're sharing okay look michael said it's a spring tide a super high and low tide see he's sharing we're all sharing Who information i don't know he's, oh, he was he's talking when you were talking about the tides and stuff what happened still with us what happened? I didn't know Mike was still with us. Well, he was up until 535. Okay, that that okay, it's 841. Thank you, Shannon. Even though I am depressing. <laughs> You're here for support. Thank, Thank you. you, Shannon. That's oh, right. See, we're all here. We're the sisterhood with a couple of guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Michael's here. He's there. Oh, okay, I thought you were going to come in. Can you come in or no? We only have 15 minutes. It's okay. I shouldn't harass you. No harassment. If he wanted to come in, I'm sure he'd come in. Oh, Michael, you're getting bread tomorrow. Mike, why am I calling you, Michael? Mike, I'm making bread tomorrow, so we have to figure out how we can do a, a drive-by. Oh, yeah, yeah. My sister's doing drive-bys now. Did you hear that, Barbara? Ay, all right. We're doing drive-bys. Hands off bread. Barbara says that we watch and learn from you, June. See? Aww. Joanne is cracking up. And Joanne, we used to share a room. How is Logan doing? How is Logan? Who's who's Logan? The son. Hi, Logan. Hi, Logan. Oh. We're, oh, we're, we're rooting for you. I'm just letting you know. Listen, Ashley wants seat. you to drive by her house. And while <laughs> you're at it, you can drive by my house. I know you don't like freeways, but just drive by my house anyway and drop off some bread and go. Okay. All right. Oi. Yeah. Where's Teresa today? How come Teresa's not on? I don't know. Oh, Teresa. Uh, I think on Wednesday, Wednesdays is not a good day. She was here last week, but Wednesdays is not usually a good day for Teresa. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat tonight for lunch, uh, for dinner. Probably just a salad, but I'm kind of bored with salads. Spice it up. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'll ask William to make, to put hot dogs on the grill and I'll just cut up some hot dogs in my salad. That'll do a little something trying to think i've been putting um cranberries and pumpkin seeds that's and nice and then i oh, got the poppy black seeds June. i got that the poppy, expand i got the poppy seed poppy seeds from uh from trader joe's tastes like sort of has like a sweet pickle taste it's very nice it just changes up the salad a little bit and also does it have does it does it have garlic oh i don't know Okay. Michael says that he's uh, that her, his son is Logan is doing great. He's liking being waited on like a king. Good for you, Logan. Make them work hard. Why? What happened? He had to get an operation, so he's okay. Oh, I don't know. All right. I don't know if he wants me to say anything, so I'm sorry, but yes. Whew. Okay. June gets June gets more trouble with things she knows and things she should shut up about. He's 
he said he's the one that said being waited on like a king. So that's true. That's true. That's true. That's and Joanne says baking bread could be a cottage industry for you. Yes. Yeah, but you know what? That's true. It could be. What well, kind of bread are you making? Um. Well, it's um spelt. Uh, spelt. It has some spelt flour in it. That's what I was talking about before. That spelt is one of those older grains that, um, you know, spelt and a few other ones. It's uh -huh. a sourdough bread that has spelt in it. Oh, okay. sourdough. I love sourdough. Oh, you do? Ooh, sourdough, is, sourdough is supposed to be the best, the best bread for your tummy. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then if you add, and you, nobody can see what I'm doing here because I'm over here and you can't see over his nose. Uh, I'm just trying to shape them a little bit. My sister, next time you come to New York, oh, you're going to get a treat. Yeah, ooh, I, ooh. I want some sourdough. I can just eat the sourdough bread and that's all I need. Just give me some butter and bread and I'm done. You got it. You got I, it. I, you yeah. know what's really good is if, you know, like um, you get those, the the tomatoes, the long, the small ones, the great, because nothing else is fresh right now. The San Villa or something from Trader Joe's, the, the long, thin ones. Oh, yeah, I love those. I always have those. Okay. Cut them up and put a little basil in it with olive oil and then dip the sourdough bread in that. Oh, and my ew. God. Delicious. Oh, poor. Well, now we're talking food. Thanks, okay. Joanne. Fermented foods are good for the gut. You're right. Where did you see that? Joanne just said that. How come I'm not getting it? Uh-oh. You didn't get it in the chat? No, First, I bread, bread baking could be a cottage, cottage industry. industry. And then the next one she said is fermented foods are good for the gut. No, I didn't get it. Yeah, see how, see how my thing, everything is going caca here. Yeah, okay. what is happening? I don't know. I don't know. It must my be family. that damn dark moon. Shit. She told you. So, I don't um, know. So tomorrow that uh, break no, I still think it. So Mike, tomorrow we have to figure out something because I'm baking it. I won't have it ready until maybe around eleven o'clock. So somehow we could figure out something. I'm sure. In the morning. Yeah, because I gotta bake it. Nice. It's in my how long, does, how long does it take to make? An hour, less than an hour. I must tell you, there is nothing like fresh baked. The smell of you know like the smell of coffee brewing and the uh -huh. smell of bread baking is like oh yeah you should put you should put cinnamon in your coffee grinds and that's really that really smells i always good. have cinnamon in my coffee yeah good Excellent. i love it it's good for cinnamon, you too. you know cinnamon's good because it it uh burns calories it's good to have it on an apple at, at uh, like just before you go to bed okay yeah because I have lots of, you know, I put cinnamon in my coffee grinds every time. So I have a lot of cinnamon. And then I also put cinnamon in my milkshake. So we have a lot. But then, okay. So, okay, we'll figure something out. See, I didn't get Joanne's comment. I only That's got weird. the bread baking and then I could, then I got Mike's comment. I didn't get you that did, one. You did get Mike's comment? Okay, we'll figure it something out. That I got. Okay, That's weird. I you sure read it? Okay. I'm glad because fermenting is good. Yes, because Barbara. Like, the smell of popcorn too. Barbara the just, the yeah. fermenting is what I've been using with my kefir. It's fermented milk, sort of. Or that fermented milk. Well, what is yogurt? Fermented milk type side. Whatever it is. It's it's got the thing, and that's what I'm my kefir is keeping my little gut healthy and happy. Oh, there you go. With my blueberries. And Barbara said she likes the smell of popcorn, which is also a, a favorite smell. Yep. That's very lovely. Popcorn is good. It's I hate when William makes popcorn and then, you know, I don't want to eat it or whatever and stuff. But the smell of it, it's just like, oh, my God, how could I not have some? I have to be careful with popcorn now. Why? Popcorn hurts my stomach for some reason sometimes. Is it just the butter that you put on it or the actual popcorn? No. I think I don't like movies. Um, like when I went to see movies, I don't know. When I eat popcorn, sometimes 
I don't make it myself. That's usually something that I buy outside yeah. already made. It just upsets my stomach. Well, if it's ready made and it has that chemical on it, that's probably why. Joanne yeah. says she's not sure her comments are coming through tonight. Could be her tablet, but I'm seeing them, Joanne. So it's me. It's me. It's my thing. I don't. Oh, I have top chat. Oh, mother. You have what? I have top chat on. Let's see if I got live chat. If it's different. Yep. I had to, I have top chat on from, I, I take the chat, I pop out the chat from YouTube and put it on my um, uh, screen on page. And for uh -huh. some reason I had top chat, not live chat. So I missed that. Ah, that's what it is. All right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's me. It's me. Everybody it's sees you, Joanne. Huh? We got it. We got it together now. We're, we're together. Okay. Nobody can see what I'm doing. So all of the... <laughs> Although you guys have saw at the top of his head. See, look, okay, we were trying to get the feet. Yeah, well, we're, we're seeing the top of his head and his fuzziness. Those are cute yeah. little shoes, though. Yeah, we're getting there. I might, what I might do is because this clay is also very, like, it's, it's very soft. I might have to leach some of the chemicals out of this, too. So... All right, now what? Now it's telling me I have to hit okay. the blue arrow. Okay, I, I got it. YouTube? Ugh, all these people are annoying. Okay, so I got that done. So I got his little feeties done until the point where I could look at it a little bit more. And then I'm going to see if I have to, um, maybe I'll bake it. I'll leach the clay and then I'll put another layer of clay with the details on it because this is I this is too you could feel when you work with polymer clay and it gets too soft. There's sometimes when it's really soft that it makes life much easier. Like when you oh, I can't even get him off this thing. When I'm when you oh now he comes off. When you're doing around his tail and stuff like that, the softer the clay, the easier it is to get the clay around the the um armature of the tail but sometimes too soft clay is just one big pain in the neck it's 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 cookie like and it to, to get it to hold um details is impossible so i do have to leach some of the black and i do have to leave some of this the his um his his color because i have to do his hands and there's no way i'm going to do his hands with this it'll just drive me crazy so we got okay. the shoes started i was able to recolor him but of course i'm going to have to do a little bit more work I'm not going to put his hair back on until I get his hat figured out. Um, oh, you have hair on him? Yeah, I'm going to put, I, I had the, I'm going to put like little wisps. That's what we were discussing earlier was the wisps. Little oh, wisps. Oh, very like, cute. That's too long. That's far too long. But you know, you know what I'm trying to, like just. Oh, yeah, how cute. You know, and under his top hat. So I'm going to do that. Oh, um, that's going to be funny. That's going to be very cute. I'm using this color and some white that I'll mix together, but I don't know if I like this hat, so I might try to do the hat and cardboard first and then um, cover it with felt. I, ha I have a few different ways I can make top hats, so I don't want to do a polymer clay top hat, but I might even make it polymer clay. Who knows? You know what? I don't you know. Who knows? I, who knows? Who we knows? Could, we, we could do a lot of different things here. Yeah. Right? Yep. And I also have, if I decide to do polymer clay, what I could try to do, which I might try to do when I'm putting this, is I have this flocking, which is like little uh, pieces of fiber, little very, very small, tiny pieces of fiber that is all cut up and everything else like that. So if I do do polymer clay for his hat, to give it some more texture, I might just like put the flocking on it before I bake it, which will keep nice. with the polymer clay will keep once it's baked so that'll be something interesting to try the wisps i know christine's been making fun of me the way i said wisps and wisps. then i might um the other thing that i'm going to be doing is his tail on here i usually like i said i usually put some wool on it but i'm thinking of trying between the black and this gray this is also flocking i might just make a little mixture and maybe put some glue here and put um flocking on that that was me. Oh, that was you? Yeah, you okay. wanted me yeah. to check. Huh? Did you hear your sound? Did you love your sound? Yeah, that's a very cute sound. I It sounds like Tinkerbell. Yes, I remember we decided to give you a different sound? I like it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Okay. 
Yeah, I just wanted to tell you if you um, if you Google uh, the safest cities in the United States of America, like um, I don't know how many cities, but half of them were in Cali. And yeah, and uh, a good. Well, let me tell you something. Cindy's on the on the. I told her what your wants are. There's uh -huh. a place. There's a place called St. Louis Obispo, and they call it S Slow S L O because those are the initials. That's where yeah. Julia's been going to school for the last four years. Okay. And so she's become very, very familiar with the town. And she thinks that it's got everything that you're really looking for. You can walk. It's got a Trader Joe's because any college town is really going to have a Trader Joe's close by, at least out here. So St. Louis Obispo is one. They're on the central coast of California, which does not get hot because it's north of me. So it does not get really hot. And it definitely St. Louis Obispo has a fall. Now, it's not going to be a fall like New York's fall, but it's definitely a fall where you see changing leaves and blah, 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 and you feel a difference because there's a Christmas in the air. Um, the other one is Santa Cruz, which is close to St. Louis Obispo, but she's talking about those two places because they're still affordable and they're safe and they're adorable and they're places where you can walk to a lot of things. They have a cute little downtown she was thinking that those two places are places you should check out. Okay. So I said, all right, well, I'll tell my sister about it and we should do some more research. But basically she was doing even, she already had houses for you. I said, no, she's not buying a house. So yeah, because she's a real estate person. So she was already like looking at the, the prices of the houses and what the rents were going for. And so basically I think, you know, it's, it's a good option. Yeah, I'm, I'll look. I'll be looking. Cora, I'm yeah. gonna, I've been looking all over because, you know, like I said, I, I, I did love Asheville. I really did. It's just I have to make sure because I'm not, you know, I'm not sure everybody would come with me if I decided to go to Asheville. So, right. You know, well, I, I must tell you that, you know, as far as the um, environment is concerned. And I know that EC is looking, you know, like might be looking at getting another job and stuff and staying in an environmental friendly type of company. And there's so many of them out here mm -hmm. on the West Coast. Huh? No, uh, no, but I said, uh-huh. Go ahead. Yeah, there's so many of them out here on the West Coast. And, you know, so I told him that if, you know, if there are any on the West Coast and he wants to apply to them and stuff that, you know, he certainly can stay here. I can help him, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, net, net, I don't know if he's thinking about it in the back of his mind too. And I'm thinking, yeah, I would love to get you guys closer because St. Louis Obispo, June from here, from my house is probably about like two and a half, three hours, but it's still a doable drive for me, you know? And Santa Cruz is a little bit further, but you know, it's still a doable drive. Okay. And All it's right. kind of like going up towards Santa Barbara, but Santa Barbara is like ridiculously expensive. It's ridiculous. So going up that way, central, the central coast is really pretty because it's not like, it's not as expensive as San Francisco and Northern California. And it's a lot nicer than we're here in Southern California. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, for what it's worth, I think that, you know, you may want to take a look because I was looking last night as I was on the phone with her and I, they said a lot of really good things about, about, I was looking at San Luis Obispo. I didn't have time to research Santa Cruz, but I was looking at, at slow is what they call it. And it was looking pretty good. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> what is you have two minutes. I know. I know. I switched it over. Two and two. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I, I Chuck mean, Hillary, I love connection. Huh? You can talk. Oh. No, um, just said, hold on. Okay. So that's June doesn't do no, June doesn't do freeways. June does not do freeways, highways. No, it doesn't. So we have to be, yeah, you, we have to like, make sure. You like stop signs and stoplights. That's what June likes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Plenty of those around, let me tell you. So anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, this was very eventful. Thank you all. It was a great time. It was great to see everybody and to discuss everything that we discussed. Yeah, I can't see anything. Where's my glasses? Okay. Hold on. Is that wall behind oh. you blue or gray, my sister? Is that what? the blue? Is that gray, a gray wall or a blue wall behind you? It no, looks like it's a, a, it's sort of like a dog. This is Eddie's room. 
Oh, okay. So it's, 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 well, the well, last time I saw it. It's now, uh, the, it was Eddie's room. It's, it's the now studio. The, it's the studio. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out where the hell room. my camera is. Huh? Yeah, it's the exercise arts and crafts room. So oh, good. Here. Nice. All right. Sounds it good. Has all, has all my weed berries over here. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's almost time to go go a uh, night night, my sister. Go nannies. We gotta yes, go nannies. Right nanny 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 wannies, huh? I just said we gotta go nannies. I didn't say. I anything. know. Well, I'm getting ready to eat. You're getting ready to go nanny. Barbara yes, says this was great fun. It was great fun. I had a. I have. I, I never shut up. I should really shut up and let you do your work a little bit more, huh? <laughs> What could I say? Shit. Can we just say good night, everybody? Good night, everyone. Ashley, good night. Sweet dreams, ladies. Bye, Shannon. Good night, sweet dreams. Hugs, Barb. Have a great okay. time tonight. Night, everyone. Bye, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the romper room lady. <laughs> hey, good night, everyone. Good night, all. Bye, Christine. Love you all. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Martha. Bye, girl. Good night. Okay. Um, Good night, everybody. Let's see. And uh, uh, as usual, what was it? What do I usually say? Wait a second. I'm so missed already in my head. <laughs> don't, don't be holding your head. Um, okay. Good night, everyone. And as always, have fun creating beauty. Thank night on the phone. Bye. Let me Bye. End. And we're ending. Oh yes, Barbara. I'm there. Okay. Definitely have to come. Yes. She will. I'm ending.